Hi, this is Lisa with Mama Lisa's Apothecary. Boy, did I find a prize yesterday in the woods. Um, I make my own uh, mushroom tinctures, and a lot of people um, don't know what a tincture is. A tincture is I take the mushrooms and I soak them in Everclear 189 proof alcohol for a month. That pulls out all the good... Um, cells, spores from the mushrooms and then I, after a month I strain out the alcohol and do a double extraction to get the water soluble um, spores out so this is amazing, I've had amazing results with my tinctures I use the five um, most healing uh, mushrooms that I can find this is a one and a half pound, look how pretty that is, um, reishi mushroom. These actually sell um, for $160 a pound. Um, my friend Kim took me on a nice hike yesterday, about five miles. Going down was easy, going up was brutal. But I'm still alive. I'm not even hurting. Feeling good. This is just what I love to do. So I locally forage all my mushrooms, except for my chaga. Um, that's a fungus that grows on the birch tree. But the type of birch tree doesn't grow here. We only have river birch here. And um, the reishi mushroom is one, is one of the mushrooms I use for my tincture. What are they good for? You're not going to believe it. I've had so many amazing results. Um, number one, all the five mushrooms that I forage um, are great antioxidant. Um, this reishi strengthen, strengthens hmm, your um, heart function. It detoxifies the body. It increases your memory. I also have lion's mane that actually um, reverses Alzheimer dementia, and it's good for your brain. You won't believe me. Six years ago, I had um, traumatic brain injury from being in a coma. I had brain fog. I was a mess. I mean, my brain still don't work all that great, but I can't blame it on my traumatic brain injury. <laughs> um, what else is reishi good for? Um, pulmonary diseases and cancer. A little background, I have to read about this because I can't always remember everything. Got so much going on up here. <laughs> um, reishi mushrooms are among several medicinal mushrooms that have been used for hundreds of years, mainly in the Asian countries for treatment of infections. More recently, they have been used to a treatment of pulmonary diseases and cancer. I told you about my friend. He had a big, gigantic goiter on the side of his neck, and he took my uh, mushroom tinctures for two months. It's gone. The doctor's amazed. He, um, down Seventh-day Adventist, he buys the tincture and his patients buy them. So, it works. I'm not kidding you. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's also used for high blood pressure, high cholesterol, cardiovascular disease, liver or kidney disease, respiratory diseases such as asthma, viral infections such as the flu, HIV, AIDS, cancer and support during chemotherapy, pain during and after shingles outbreak. It builds strength and stamina and it's good for fatigue. So if you want to try some of my mushroom tincture, I use five and I'll um, go through each one of them. Tomorrow I'll go through chaga, Next day, I'll go through the turkey tail. Next day, I'll go through chicken of the woods. And my friend Kim, she found chicken of the woods. And uh, 
let's see, and lion's mane. <clears throat> I also have other types of tinctures. I have wild lettuce, which helps people. It's a pain reliever that helps people to get off of opioids. Um, I have Indian ghost pipe, which is used for PTSD. It's a, it's a great painkiller too. And, um, convulsion, seizures, PTSD, anxiety. And I sell my tinctures for half the price of what they do on the internet because they're for healing. So anytime you want to stop over, Get a little bit of an education. I'm still educating myself every day. So, um, I just wanted to let you know about that. And I just had to show you this beautiful, be this is the most beautiful specimen you will ever see of reishi. So, um, I want you all to have a great day. God loves you, each and every one of you. And be the reason somebody smiles today.